Hello and welcome to the first of what I hope will at least be a monthly devlog series for my as of yet untitled game. I'm really unsure of a name for the game, I've been toying with simply Spirit Spa, but then a game recently came out called Spirit T, and I don't want to be too close to them name-wise. You know that bit in an RPG where you're trying to name your character and that's the bit where you're stuck on for ages? I'm trying not to get to that point, otherwise the game just won't get made. Before we get into the main video, I do just want to quickly mention today's sponsor, Game Dev Rocket. If you want a structured, guided learning path from the brothers behind one of the biggest game dev channels here on YouTube, then their course could be what you're looking for. The course covers getting set up and familiar with Unity before moving on to making a variety of games focusing on certain things, for example mobile development, multiplayer games, and then even a horror game. You can save 30% on the course fee using code DAN30, that's D-A-N-3-0, and also support the channel whilst you're at it head on over to gamedevrocket.com to learn more. But before getting into what the game actually is, I just want to talk a little bit about my plan. So recently, I've been at a bit of a loss with what to do with this channel. Tutorials take up a lot of time, and they are relatively successful and do drive income for me via Patreon support for, the, uh, for access to the scripts, but they're just not creatively fulfilling for me. And I've got lots of ideas for tutorial series or little interesting things I've made for Unity that I think are quite unique, but the thought of actually sitting down to record another long form series just fills me with dread. I also have a few collab videos on the channel which are a bit closer to what I want to be doing, and I will like to do more of these as it's always good to collaborate with fellow game dev content creators. But what I really want to do is just to make and release a commercial game on Steam. Even if it's a flop, I just want it out of my system. And with such a limited amount of free time due to having a full-time job, plus family life, etc, I do need to direct what energy I have to give to game dev into more fulfilling ideas, such as this game project. I also don't want this project to just drag on forever, so I've set myself a goal to make and release a small in scope but high in polish game on Steam by this time next year. And where the channel comes into this is I want to be doing monthly devlogs for the game, charting each step of the way with a specific focus on marketing. What I mean by that is I want to get the bulk of the game done in about six months, with the following six months primarily spent on marketing and gathering wish lists. And I think this is something that's really overlooked in the YouTube game dev scene, the actual marketing side of this. And I want to try and cover kind of the wins and losses in marketing in these devlogs if possible. So what is the actual game? Like what's the idea for this game? The game plays from a top-down perspective with a minimal strategy simulation theme. Each day a set of spirits arrive at your rundown spa with the goal of unwinding and coming to terms with their death before they move on to the next stage of the afterlife. The player will take this rundown spa and spend the game currency on upgrading the buildings, with each upgrade making the building bigger and better, allowing more spirits to visit the facility and relax and unwind. For example, here in this outdoor pool, the spirits hop in the water for a quick bath before heading off to another activity. You then can click on the rock pool and spend your resources to upgrade it, which swaps the asset out for a bigger version. This month then, I've just worked on getting the systems and logic set up for the game. For example, the buildings, the upgrades, the state machine for the spirit logic. And I think this is quite interesting actually. So the way this works is that the spirits have a spirit controller, which handles switching states. And depending on which state is switched to, this swaps out the current logic that is running with logic for a variety of states, such as wandering the ground, relaxing at an activity, or leaving the spa once they are happy enough. What's great is it's easy to expand. For example, if I wanted another state, I just need to add it as an option to this enum, add in a new switch statement here, and then set up a script that contains the logic for it. Before jumping into the code on this, I planned out a few flow graphs of the basic states and how they would enter and exit one another, and that helped inform this whole state controller system. I've also worked on the ability to load and save the game state, which writes a variety of important information out to JSON, and this can be loaded and saved as necessary. I've actually done a save and load tutorial before, which is what this whole system is based on, so you can go check that out with the card in the corner if you want to. Oh, and I hope this goes without saying, all of this is placeholder art, I, like, I know it looks like trash. Art is actually next month's task. Speaking of which, I thought I'd share with you my plan for the 12 months. So yeah, this is very much a work in progress and I don't have all 12 months planned out, just the next kind of few. So here uh, we have November. Um, I've been working on getting the main loop and frameworks done, which I think I'm almost complete with now. There are a couple more things that I've added since checking that off. 
um, of doing some work on deciding the art style. So I was wondering whether I should go for like a 3D pixel art style or like a hand painted, but I've ended up just thinking of going with a like flat block color style, but with some gradient mapping. Uh, the reason being for that is because, you know, I'm one person, I'm trying to do this in a quick time frame. And if each building needs multiple uh, meshes, like depending on the various upgrade states, you know, one building becomes four buildings. Um, obviously with a lot of reuse and stuff, but still it's not something that I want to spend the time on. If, you know, if I have a lot of free time towards the end and I think I can go through and hand paint every asset, I'd, I would like to do that. Um, but I just think realistically it's not gonna happen. And there've been some really nice games with just block colors. Um, for example, Tunic in recent times, that looks amazing. Um, so hopefully I can pull that off of a style that looks quite nice. Um, and I've still got a couple of things I wanna do. So custom spirit animations to play per relaxation point. For example, in a gym, each bit of equipment might need a different animation. So the spirits will go to a position and then pick up an item like a, you know, like a dumbbell or something. Um, and I want to implement a mechanic so if there's a building with a roof on it, the building, the roof disappears, which is quite a standard thing for these sort of management style games. And then into December, we've got artwork, uh, building implementation. So this is, um, you know, turning the actual artwork pieces. So if I want the gym, for example, doing all four, star all four styles of the gym, if there's four upgrades um, under artwork, and then implementing them actually into the engine and setting up the, the gym um, element, if that makes sense. Um, artwork is also hopefully gonna include animations, at least a few. And then once this is done throughout December, we move on to January, uh, and I want to focus on sound effects and music to try and get a bit of um, atmosphere and polish to the game. I'm gonna to try to make, uh, maybe not the sound effects myself, but I wanna to try to make the music myself. I've, um, you know, I've done a few little bits so far in FL Studio. I do quite enjoy that process. Um, and I think that'd just be nice to, it's something creative, but a bit of a break from the normal game dev. Um, then in February, we are going to do the UI overhaul, including a complete rework of the main menu. Um, here, I want to add the option for multiple saves, which should be easy enough. Um, I've got a plan of how to do that. But also like the options menu, social links, like call to actions for the demo to, you know, go wishlist it on Steam and that kind of thing, and actually set it up so it looks, you know, like a proper game, a bit closer to what I envisioned the full game to be. And then in March, um, there's gonna be some stuff moving back, I think, into this, so there will be some programming, but um, the main thing I wanna do is get the Steam store page set up um, and start working on the trailer for the game to put in, you know, gather in kind of all the marketing materials. I'm gonna to have to decide on a name by March, come up with like the key art and the logos and all that kind of falls under store page setup. And then in um, April, cause it'll be the start of a new tax year. Um, I want to actually launch the page then. I just think that's a nice time to do it. And it gives like, you know, quite a good run of uh, time for release. Um, but as well as the store page launch, I'm gonna start working on quality of life features for the game. So anything that I think would be cool, but it's not necessary in these kind of stages, uh, I'm gonna to try to implement in April. So for example, quality of life features. Um, one I thought of was edit button, edit buttons, allowing players to choose custom names for their spirits, just give a little bit more personality to the spirits that are walking around. Currently, the spirits just pick from a JSON list of a first name and a last name, and it's just random. Um, but I thought that'd be quite nice if players, you know, they get attached to one specific spirit, they can choose a name, choose the name after themselves, whatever. And then May, June, July, and August, and September, uh, there's not much in there yet, apart from obviously the devlogs. There will be a lot of stuff being worked on. I just don't know what my focus is gonna be yet. 
as I go through these kind of months, that'll inform like where I'm at and what I need to focus on in uh, these months. I think if at this point, if I feel like I'm at a good position, I might do um, another pass at the artwork. So like I said, uh, do some hand painting stuff. Um, but mainly this is just gonna be like play testing, tweaking, um, balancing, that kind of thing, doing play tests with the community. October, I want to have the have a demo ready to go um, for October's version of Nextfest. If I can get a demo sooner, um, I think the summer Nextfest is probably like July, June, July. Maybe I'll try and implement it and get it ready then. Uh, but I think I'll go for October just because then I can follow uh, that next fest and hopefully if it's successful, um, we can follow that into a launch in November, possibly uh, December. And then post-release ideas. There's some stuff that I think will take ages to work on. or well, not ages, but aren't maybe aren't as necessary for like a 1.0 launch, but would be nice post-release. So it's going to be quite complex to get the spirits to actually interact with one another, I think. So if a building like a relaxation thing is tennis, you're going to be wanting them to, you know, bat a ball back and forth. That's going to take a lot of time to animate and actually the logic of getting the spirits to interact with one another. Um, I feel like that's a really nice idea, but I want to if it comes in the way of launching the game, that's not going in. Um, but maybe I could do that afterwards. So yeah, that's the kind of current plan. And as I said, this will get, we'll, we'll recheck in on this every month for each devlog. Uh, so by next month's devlog, this will be way more filled out. Um, so for example, whilst talking about this, I've just realized that I'm gonna need to really focus on getting a tutorial sort of system together. Um, so that's going to have to come in here somewhere. Don't know where yet. I'll have to do a bit more thinking uh, about that. Because um, the tutorial will be good for the actual main game, but also for um, a demo as well. It will need a tutorial or like tool tips or something to explain to the player what they're doing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Also with this renewed focus for the channel, I've refreshed my Patreon account with some hopefully exciting tiers. Uh, I did do a community post on YouTube and also posted it here um, as well. So if you want it to get it in a written form, just look for those. But if we go over to our membership tab, um, we've got the tip jar tier, which is just, there's no perks to this. It's just, you know, if you want to support the channel, um, but don't have the means possibly for the, the more like the bigger tiers or you don't really need any of the benefits then that'd be uh i'd be very thankful for sort of anything um you know to help me kind of work on this game so that's what the tip jar is there for um this is an old one that i can't delete it while there's still members subscribe to it um and then we move on to supporter which is three pounds a month this is going to be access to uh discord and you'll get a special role and that's access to a secret channel that only uh, supporters on the patreon will get access to i've also got the tutorial file tier which is the current um tier that i have for like the inventory tutorial series for example we've got 39 members on here um again i can't delete this until those members have moved on so for now that's just unpublished and then we are moving on to monthly game builds. So this gets all the benefits of the previous tiers, um, as well as every month uh, you get a monthly game build. And I've made a note here, so as we approach launch, monthly game builds may stop. And when this happens, I'll, like, I'll make sure um, that everyone knows that no more monthly or weekly builds are coming. Um, and any active subscribers at that time uh, regardless of whether you've subscribed for one month or two months, you will get an access, uh, you'll get a key for the game once it launches. And then we move up to the weekly game builds, which includes everything from the previous tiers, but it's weekly builds um, as opposed to uh, monthly builds. And something that I'm going to add to this tier to just kind of 
as a you know an added bonus is names in the game's credits uh, which is something that i would love to do for those that support me on that higher tier to say just you know a massive thank you um and the whole reason for this is like i don't expect any support you don't have to support obviously just watching and liking and sharing the video itself is support um but you know if i want to do this full time and sustainably um I, I, you know, unfortunately, life is expensive, um, so that's what this money would be going towards, um, as well as obviously gear upgrades and stuff to make the channel better. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the Patreon in a nutshell. And just a note for those weekly and monthly builds I mentioned, the game may or may not be in various levels of playability during these times. It certainly won't be fun for a little while yet. So think of them more as an interesting archive into the development of the game as opposed to early access to a complete playable fun game. I've also set up a new Discord specifically for this game project. The link for this will be in the description. And I do separately have the Game Dev Den Discord, which is somewhere to join if you're interested in speaking to other like-minded devs about just all things game development. So I think that about covers it for month one. Hopefully I will be back next month with a load of new art assets for the game, which will help flesh out the amount of buildings available in the game and give more longevity to the gameplay. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!